What's up guys, back with another twin motion tutorial. I'm going to show you how I use the parallax window new feature in twin motion 2025.2 preview. Now this is going to be a pretty nice um, addition to twin motion. So I'm going to show you how I utilize that new feature in this rendering. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so as you know, I like to start off by giving a little bit of a tour of our 3D model, just to kind of show you what it looks like, what we're working with and how I created this scene. We won't go into great detail. This is just about use, utilizing the new feature parallax windows in twin motion, but this model is modeled fully in Revit and designed and rendered in twin motion. 2025.2 preview so I think that this has turned out very well and in this tutorial I just kind of want to show you how I utilize the parallax windows and what it is and how it's very beneficial uh, to your renderings and to your design so we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to objects here and as you can see, we have parallax windows. All right, so before we actually drag and drop our parallax windows, I wanna to describe to you kind of what is the use of a parallax window. So parallax windows are nothing but a 2D plane that helps simulate a three-dimensional interior space. And in that 2D plane, you have textures or maps that are applied to it, and it gives you that depth that realism uh, look that you're looking for inside your uh, exterior renderings. And it really is really beneficial because it helps save time and you don't have to utilize a lot of your assets and bog down your computer and, and really try to create this, build this space out and try to render it just to kind of show something that's going on in the inside of your rendering. So it's really beneficial to use parallax windows when you can in your renderings just to help save time. And uh, I think that is very beneficial. But guys, don't forget to smash that like button for me, hit that notification bell, and um, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, all right, let's get, let's get to it. So I'm just click on the parallax windows. So just kind of back up just a little bit. You go to library and you're gonna to go to your object and you're gonna to go to parallax window. So Twin Motion has uh, released in its new preview 2025.2 that it has parallax windows, parallax rooms that are come in different variety and different options. You have residential, you have offices, you have a gym and you also have retail. So this this actually fit very well for my scene, my new 3D scene. And it also has a custom window where you can actually customize that. So I think that's pretty cool. But for now, we're just gonna use some of the existing uh, preloaded, the existing preloaded parallax uh, rooms that are offered here for time. And I'm just going to show you how I utilize this and how I utilized it in my night scene rendering. So I'm going to just drag and drop here. And as you can see, it's just a 2D plane. It's not a true three dimensional space, but it gives you that illusion that it is, which I think is pretty cool. And you can make some adjustments. So when we um, actually drag and drop that onto our scene, it opens up. A, a lot of um, a lot of options here that we can use to kind of help bring more detail and uh, more realism to our scene. So you have your day texture you can change, your exposure, um, you have your night, and you also if you scroll down to details, we can click on night life simulation. So I'm gonna click on that because I'm going to do a night rendering really quickly just to kind of show you guys exactly how it looks um, after we make some of these adjustments. All right, so here you got the amount, 50%, temperature, 
exposure you can do twinkle and um has a lot of cool things you can change the size width depth you can stretch it as well you have your layers enabled so here it's kind of like when you click one two or three you can change the depth of it and i think that's pretty cool i think that uh, is very helpful you have glass you can enable that as you can see kind of changed a little bit there and you can change um this option here and so i think that this is a pretty good start for twin motion to include this so we're going to quickly just kind of copy and paste so what i want to do is just kind of drag that over a little bit here okay so we go back to this guy here and we still have room to drag it over and also also you can go to options and you can do like corner calling so what that does is kind of you can do left or right or or both so it cuts off this end piece here so if we do right as you can see it cuts it off there or you can just do both where it cuts off both sides okay so it doesn't show like you're going into another room but if we just say none it will show that 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 there's a wall there so it's kind of simulating that that wall is closed off on both ends or there's assets on those um furniture on those ends so you can you can turn it off or you can say none and we're going to keep it as none okay all right so now that we have that what i did for this particular scene is that i just copied and paste so we're gonna bring this up a little bit here all right so it's, it's the same exact it's, it's the same exact parallax room which i didn't want to get too fancy with it but it helped me out um, just for this particular scene so we're just gonna copy and paste and move that over all right so now we're gonna get both of these guys copy and paste so i just did Control c Control v and we're just going to copy that up to the next level so i'm just copying these guys up to the next level just to kind of show that there there's some office space on each level and guys you can do this however you want or whatever fish you're seeing you can change the lighting you can change um, just about anything in this parallax window that you want, okay? So you can change the layers, you can add um, depth to it. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button for me and hit the notification bell as well. So I did click on the nightlife simulation. So you can play around with these um some of these sliders just to kind of see what kind of results you get if you want um it to be brighter let's see what it looks like um for our nighttime rendering so as you can see it's really bright and i've already created these on this side so we don't want them that bright at all so we're gonna make some adjustments there so we'll do quick media and we'll click on all the ones we just created. And and what's happening is the exposure is really high. So let's turn down the exposure. We we'll change our amount to 40%. Okay, let's see. Alright, so as you can see that looks a lot better 
and um, it gives you the impression that we have some some people still working or the lights are on and you don't want all the lights to be on you want to kind of give it uh, a little bit of a uh, a variety just to kind of spread it out to kind of give you some realism because in reality when in night you know it doesn't look like all the lights are on some of the lights are on so guys i think that this is a pretty pretty cool feature that twin motion has added and um i hope that you learned something i know i did and uh don't forget to hit that like button for me hit the notification bell and we'll be back with another one